try something a little bit different. I got a different camera view. Whatever, a GoPro, it's on a hat clip. Let's see if we can get a different perspective here. So, excuse some of my desk because this is a basement office and it is somewhat dusty down here. So, let me look at my trusty notes here. So, we went to the range on 12.3. It is now 12.10. Uh, we made it 1911 day on that range trip, so we took two guns. We took uh, the Metro Arms American Classic Commander 45 ACP, which is right here. And for shits and giggles, no magazine, nothing in the chamber. And we'll do that for this one as well. No magazine, nothing chamber. So, <clears throat> we decided to shoot this one first. Uh, we had brought along some frangible ammo. I don't have a lot of 45 ACP uh, because the last time I, I bought ammo was maybe this time last year. And 45 ACP ammo was extremely difficult to find as well as uh, relatively expensive. So, I ended up buying some frangible ammo. And you know what, one thing about this gun is that no matter what I shoot, I have the occasional, like, I'm shooting and then I notice that one or two rounds out of the mag, the the slide is moving very slow. So I'm not sure if that rep is representative of um, ammo that maybe has less of a charge than it should. And remember, I'm firing almost exclusively uh, range ammo whether it's target ammo that's FMJ or uh, a target ammo that's FMJ I mean target ammo that's JHP or regular uh, ball ammo uh, so I'm typically not going to shoot uh, uh, self-defense rounds unless I intend on carrying uh, that particular gun uh, this is not a candidate uh, and there is there is a reason why and we'll talk about that in a few minutes so um, this gun is it's one of my most pristine 1911s and no this is not a cult um, if I wanted a cult I'd buy a cult uh, I'm, 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 I'm fine with owning Philippine made 1911s uh, I'm not a 1911 snob, uh, so um, it's just one of those things. It my 1911s. Uh, I have three Rock Island Armories and this gun. So uh, looking at it and the features, the fact that it's it, it's more refined than the than the Rock Island Armories. Uh, but the Rock Island Armory shoot better. Why? So let's start with, okay, I hadn't shot this handgun since uh, February 23, 2020. Uh, the, the handgun does have a total of 309, 309 rounds through it. Uh, in this range trip, I shot 24 rounds of that frangible ammo. I think it's like international 155 grain uh pretty much ball ammo uh although the nose was kind of i want to say semi-flat um so i stopped shooting after 24 rounds because the gun was not shooting where it wasn't hitting where i was aiming at and i am proficient enough to know that this example of the American Classic Commander is inaccurate. Um, I, I've shot 45 before. I understand uh, its recoil impulse. I've, I've carried a, at least one 45 uh, caliber handgun, the XD45 subcompact. And if I can be accurate and shoot that gun, it's lighter, so it's going to be more recoil. Um, it's shorter, um, which means recoil management is going to be uh challenging 
uh, unless you're training a lot. Um, as well, sight radius is shorter, so it's going to be more challenging to get lead on target. Uh, and I am fine with that gun. I, I don't have the same problems. Yes, it's a different gun, but I'm just kind of putting that out there because uh, it is a 45 ACP. You know, both both guns are. I, in fact, I don't have any other problems. I have other 45 45 caliber guns as well. I don't have any other problems shooting 45, with the exception of this gun. So here's the target that we, and we shot this from five uh five yards. So let me frame it correctly here. So this was at five yards, and a uh, point of aim is the red X. And you can see I'm hitting, and of course I got several flyers, but they're all low left, and that may have been me jerking the trigger, but all of these, no. No, I'm not jerking the trigger on all of these. Um, and if you notice, every single one of them are, I mean, I'm, I'm putting rounds on top of each other. That represents 24 rounds. So three eight-round mags. And I'm hitting in the same spot every time, pretty much. In comparison to the other gun. So no, it's not me. It, you would think that if I was dragging the trigger, I would be dragging the trigger on this gun as well. No. As you can see, I'm definitely not hitting low left anywhere here. So, and that's with, that's with this gun. So, um, I think there's something wrong with the sights on this gun. Uh, the grouping was very tight, just low left. I was not jerking the trigger or anticipating recoil. Again, I'm familiar with the recoil, impl the recoil impulse of a 45 ACP. Uh, this is not a grouping issue. It's definitely a sights issue. Uh, so if you look at the sights here, the front sight, and I'm not sure how close the camera is picking that up there. Remember, I'm just using a GoPro. Um, I could probably get away with filing this down, but this, this site is already low enough, and uh, I'm not only going to have to grind down the side, I'm going to have to move the dot down lower. So uh, I'm not sure if that's the best way to tackle this. Uh, with my other hand, my other 1911s, the front sights are quite a bit taller. It would be nice if I can get these sights to fit on this gun. Uh, so I might consider ordering a set of these from Arms Corps and putting them on this gun. Uh, both of these uh, handguns are using Novak style uh, sights. So. Uh, And I think in both cases, both the front and the rear on this particular gun are sitting higher. So it, I don't know. I mean, I don't hear of other people having this issue, but it's just odd that, that I'm having it. And I'm wondering if it could be, the sights are actually pretty, well, just sitting, I'm looking at the dovetail. The dovetail is like not flush with the gun. They're actually a little bit high. So you would think that that would help some, but oh well, we're getting off track here. Um, so the plan is to either find a set that I, I anticipate will work with the gun and installing them myself, which I haven't done not on 1911s uh, I've done it once on my Glock 19 and those were, were with uh, XS big dots uh, doing these might be a little bit different or my other option would be to just find a, a 1911 gunsmith that can inform me of what sites to get 
I buy them with the intention of that particular gunsmith installing them for me. So, so there's that. So, once again, I'm disappointed in this gun. I mean, it's nice. It's got a good feature set. It's got extended uh, controls here. Um, it's very smooth. Racks like glass. Very tight. Um, the grips are exceptional. I bought, you know, I bought these. It didn't come with these. These are VC, VC grips, uh, G10s. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would love to be able to shoot this more, but it's just not giving me, giving me the results I need. And I'm not going to waste that precious ammo when I can't get it to hit where it needs to hit and that's why I stopped shooting it after 24 rounds it's kinda sad uh, so the other gun uh, this is my 22 TCM handgun so uh, we shot 140 rounds of 9 millimeter through this this is a first so this gun actually comes with two barrels and two uh, recoil springs one chambered for 9 millimeter and the other one for 22 TCM right now you're looking at the 22 TCM barrel I put it back in because I want to take it back to the range this evening uh, and shoot more uh, 22 TCM out of it uh, I have exclusively right now I have 9R I have a box of maybe uh, 200 rounds uh, last year I bought a bunch of uh, 22 TCM 9R uh, it was cheaper than 9mm and it was more readily available than 9mm so all these people I see on YouTube and on the forum saying that it's hard to find uh, it's not it's hard it might be hard to find locally but uh, you need to be willing to kinda uh, look online use some of the long online search aggregators I use wikiarms dot com uh, and I'm actually able to find 9R all over the place so I, I've never had a problem of not being able to find 22 TCM whether it's 22 TCM or 9R uh, the difference is that 9R uh, is a little bit shorter it'll you know it'll fit in 9 millimeter magazines 22 TCM uh, is a little bit longer and will require specific special magazines either the magazine that came with this gun or a lot of people have been using 38 super so <clears throat> arms core when they when they sell you a nine uh a 22 tcm it'll come with a 38 super mag and you can use both nine millimeter and 22 tcm with that uh particular uh, magazine um so what I have been doing is when I shoot this gun I want to use 9R because I have 9mm uh, magazines uh, I, I have a 9mm Rock Island Armory in the in the gun safe back here um, so I bought three uh, was it e ETM mags from uh, Wilson Combat and I used those magazines for that gun but then I realized, I was like, whoa, I was like, well, I can't use those mags with this gun unless I'm using, well, uh, I realized that I could use those mags with this gun if I'm using 9R. So, you know, the misconception is that you can't shoot 9R from, from this gun, from of a gun that's marked 22 TCM. So if you look at the barrel here, it's marked 22 TCM, it has doesn't have 9R so a lot of people are saying well you can't shoot 9R from this yes you can you can shoot 9R because they're basically the same damn round you know a lot of people are always saying that 9R is is less powerful than 22 TCM because they're looking at the bullet grainage the bullet bullet grainage doesn't really constitute how powerful a gun is uh, a, a round is um, that, you know I think they're getting uh, powder grainage confused with projectile grainage um, 
and no I don't reload but I'm not stupid either right so and I'm not calling those guys stupid it's more of an ignorance where I see it all the time people are saying well you know it's either you can't shoot 9R from a 22 TCM gun uh, yes you can uh, it's living proof right here I have I have what uh, look over here I have 746 rounds through this gun and at least half of those rounds are 9R the only reason you couldn't shoot 9R from this particular gun is if you didn't have the proper magazine I have the proper magazines so um, so some things about this particular handgun with the 9mm barrel um, this is this was the first time I've shot this gun with the nine millimeter barrel. Um, so my my takeaways from that range trip are it's exceedingly accurate. Um, it shot as well as my Rock Ultra MS in nine millimeter because that's pretty much what it is when you put the barrel in there. When you put that nine millimeter barrel in here, it, you're essentially. It, I mean, there is no real difference other than that's you know aesthetics. Um, the weight of the handgun negates the recoil of nine millimeter and with nine millimeter already being uh, decently manageable depending on your experience you know, your level right um so um it just i could shoot really fast with it um i could shoot air accurate with it and i can shoot accurately and be somewhat fast and still either hit balls on or near balls on um, so I shot a total of 140 rounds of nine millimeter from the handgun. Uh, so the 746 rounds that's through the gun thus far is a combination of 22 TCM, 22 TCM 9R and nine millimeter. So it's, you know, it's now my third most fired handgun. The only other handguns that I have that I've shot more are the Grand Power, uh, P11, and Bursa Thunder Plus uh, and I think the Bursa Thunder I have a total of seven, uh, 773 rounds through it so um, we're not you know it's not far off um, so I shot both uh, 115 grain and 124 grain FMJ uh, there were some fails to feed but it was it happened with the Rock Island Armory mags, so I used the uh, the the mag that it came with, the OEM mag, which is a 38 Super mag, to accommodate the length of uh, 22 TCM, which is a little bit longer than 9 R, but um, it was happening not when it was full, but it was happening when it was mid. I guess uh, halfway empty or halfway full so I don't think it's a I don't think it's a an issue with the spring not being strong strong enough I'm not sure what it what it is so it happened with nine millimeter but it's happened before with those mags with 22 TCM as well uh, so I'm not sure what's up with the arm score mags but usually with 1911s and OEM mags um, OEM mags for 1911s are kind of iffy, at least as far as uh, Philippine-made guns are, you know, in my experience. So every single Rock Island Armory mag I've had, with the exception of my 10 mil 10 millimeter gun, uh, they've exhibited those issues. Uh, but they shoot fine with the Wilson Combats or you know in you know or any you know I guess I'm assuming that any other maker other than OEM other than arms core uh, those rounds are gonna feed fine so uh, if you have if you've newly you know if you're if you've just bought a 1911 uh, a rock on rock Island armory 1911 then I would suggest you try and get some extra mags for it. Uh, 
in fact it would prob probably be easier to get Wilson Combat mags or Chip McCormick mags or, or any other you know Mac Mectar mags uh, for 1911s uh, than going through Arms Square itself because there have you know there's a there's been a shortage the last three or four years because of COVID. Uh, so my experience is that you know it's easier. You know I did the same thing with the 10 millimeter magazines where I ended up buying uh, uh, Remington R1 magazines for that particular gun because Arms Corps I've been waiting months for them to get in stock and I just got tired of waiting. Uh, so when we shot this, we shot out the 12 yards, and it was it was still accurate. I usually don't train out the 12 yards because I train I pretty much for home defense. Uh, so I shoot maybe set five, seven, maybe eight, maybe nine yards, uh, because you know the four years in my house in the areas in my house, that distance represents where you know I could be in a firefight in a house. Uh, 12 yards? Uh, no, no. Um, I don't. I don't see that. Um, I'm not big on shooting a handgun uh, out long range. I don't need that challenge because, again, I'm just I'm training myself to shoot in particular situations. Uh, I'm not going to be shooting out. I don't. I don't foresee myself. There's no reason to think that I should be shooting out 12, 20, 25 yards uh, at this point. You know, at that point. I might not even be able to see it, the potential threat, uh, and I'm not shooting for a potential threat. If I'm shooting, it's got to be a definite threat, and 25 yards, I mean, unless someone's already shooting at me at 25 yards, and if they are, I'm probably not going to be using a handgun. I'm probably going to go and get my, one of my AKs or the, or the AR. So, uh, um... We'll look at the, the the targets in a minute, but uh, I think I've covered all of my talking points here. So I shot both semi-rapidly and slow fire, uh, not quite considering you know, you know them to, you know the semi-rapid fire to be double taps, but but somewhat. Um, so there were one thing I didn't notice uh, was that there were no brass markings on the slide uh, I've always seen people complaining about that with the 22 TCM and 9R uh, shooting from this gun uh, maybe it's the the spring the spring is not as strong on the uh, uh, with the uh, 22 TCM barrel um, so maybe the ejection pattern is not quite uh, throwing that out there so it you know when it when it's coming out it's actually touching usually in this area here and I'm trying to see if the camera is framed right yep uh, but in that whole uh, 140 rounds when I got home I, I saw no brass markings so it's either an issue with, you know, don't want to say powder uh, but it's more than likely the spring the difference between the springs uh, not a huge issue. Um, that's not something that bothered me. But for some folks that that are ACD, you know, that have OCD, not ACD, OCD, you know, that that bothers them. Uh, is it is it negatively affecting the gun's function? No. Uh, and brass rubs right off, right? So uh, we'll continue to shoot this gun. With the TCM barrel, because I just wanted to test the the barrel that that you know the other barrel that came with this gun. Uh, there's no other reason to kind of shoot nine uh, millimeter through it, unless I was going to carry it because this does have a rail. Um, but I don't anticipate carrying this gun. Um, I already have a uh, you know the Rock Ultra nine millimeter. Uh, if I want to shoot nine millimeter from a from a from the 1911 platform, I'd use that gun and just keep this uh, configured for 22 TCL. So uh, the last thing I want, well, you know what? Before we discuss that, we'll look at these targets here.
and I'm getting a uh, notification of a uh, low battery here so we need to hurry up uh, so here's the first target I shot uh, so I first focused here so this is 10 rounds at 5 yards and then I moved it out to 7 yards 30 rounds uh, this was with a uh, federal 115 grain FMJ and then instead of putting on a new target I decided to try and focus on the headshots here we moved it out to nine yards. That that represents 38 rounds here of Fioki 115 grain FMJ. And then I got lazy again, did not want to change a target, did not want to waste a paper, and so decided, okay, let's let's pretend I can see this. And at 12 yards, I could I couldn't even see this. Uh, but um, you can see the rounds that did hit. There were some rounds over here off paper. Uh, that, in my opinion, is not really all that bad. Um, so that that's 10 shots here. Oh, okay, where's my other target? And we're still going, good. So with this one, I moved it back to seven rounds and a lot of these shots were um, low ready. Half of them were low ready. Uh, so I was practicing you know, going shooting from low ready uh, and then uh, you got a couple of headshots here toward the end uh, so this was again this is from the, the, the 22 TCM with the 9 millimeter barrel that's pretty damn good in my opinion um, I shot better with that barrel than I did with the 22 TCM And, and to me this is this is actually pretty damn good uh, and as, again as you can see you know going back to the Metro Arms situation where I'm shooting low left you don't see that here so again I don't think it's a recoil anticipation but we are done and we're right at 30 minutes I covered a lot of information in 30 minutes uh, I'm sorry if you guys don't like 30 minute videos what I'll do is I'll try and uh, add timestamps to the description to kind of help uh, if you only want to see certain things within the video. Uh, but yeah, new little format here, cameras on my head. Uh, other than that, that's it. Um, so we go to the range tonight, we're going to be shooting this and we might take out the 6 hour uh, Equinox uh, P220. That's 45 ACP gun. I'm trying to shoot 45 ACP. So it's either that or I'll be taking out the 10 millimeter. And I have less. You know, I was complaining about the fact that I didn't, I didn't have a lot of 45 ACP. I definitely don't have a lot of 10 millimeter. So uh, maybe we'll hold off on that and maybe take one of the rifles out or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. But anyways, when we do that, we'll make sure that the camera is functioning because I would have had footage of me shooting these guns here but the camera was acting up um there were there had been an app update for the phone and it was requiring me to do some things that uh that i couldn't do at the range so uh it's kind of fed up there miss some i'd like to try to record footage so that when i do have issues the last time i had issues i was actually able to take some of that footage and show some people on reddit and they were actually able to help me to figure out what was going on uh, so there's that and I like to watch the video footage to make sure that I'm not kind of training the wrong way or you know if I need to tighten up my grip because sometimes when I shoot I notice a lot of times I'm moving my hands around which means that I, I don't have a tight enough grip so things like that the camera helps a lot but anyways uh, have a good one guys we're still under 30 minutes and we're done bye